Well, Justin, I know you had a, a couple of setbacks that were frustrating, but you looked fantastic in your last couple of wins. What's been the key to, to turning the corner and kind of getting on the street? Uh, you know, it's all just a, it's a, life is a big learning process. You know, you're never, you're not going to go undefeated. You know, they're, they're Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather has gone undefeated, but I guarantee you that dude, if he keeps going with his art, he's going to get beat. You know what I mean? But this is all about art. This is, uh, you take losses in art. You have pieces of art you put out that uh, aren't your best pieces. But, I mean, they're great pieces to look back at and, you know, to learn from those pieces. So, you know, I don't really dwell on them too much. They sting, but they're, they're the best learning experiences I've ever had because I never, I never lose, you know. So when you do lose, you learn a ton more from those than you even do from wins. I wonder, was it tough? Because, I mean, obviously you're still such a young guy and there was a lot of hype building around you. I mean, was that, did that factor into the equation at all or were they just off nights? Uh, you know, I wouldn't even say it was off nights. It's just the fact that, like, I've been doing this since I was three years old. Was, I, I started martial arts, when I, actually I think I might have been like two and a half when I stepped on the mat for the first time, doing balance beams and stuff. So every day has been a growing, growing process. There's, ha there's been little karate tournaments that I lost in and stuff, and it's like, you don't sit and dwell on them, you know, because if you sit and dwell on them, then you're focusing on the negative. You know, you gotta, you gotta take what you can from them and move on. And you know, sometimes you need to get slowed down. You know, there's guys, there's prospects out there that get, you know, tossed into the, into the lion's den really, really early, and they get discouraged and they quit. You know, so it's just uh, everything happens at the right time, right speed. Here you are, you've bounced back with a couple wins now. It's main card, pay per view opener. I know you've been on the main card before, but not a big pay per view like this. Uh, does it feel special to, to be in this slot? Yeah, it feels special, man. Uh, being on pay-per-view is nice. One thing I've, always, I've kept saying is like, oh, I don't have to censor myself now. <laughs> on pay-per-view, I can, I can really be myself. So uh, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> Talk about the matchup itself. Ian is uh, an interesting character. I mean, he, he was considered top of the world at one point in time, but he's had some ups and downs as well. What do you look at when you see Ian? Oh, man, uh, dude, Ian's tough. I, I've been watching that guy fight for, for a long time, you know, since I, before I could even fight MMA, before, you know, so uh, I know how good of a competitor he is. I know how good of a martial, art, martial artist he is. He's an interesting guy, and uh, this fight's attracting a lot of attention, which uh, the flyweight division desperately needs. So uh, we're going to go in there, we're going to put on a show, and uh, I'm going to beat this dude up. The other interesting thing about the flyweight division is Demetrius has beaten so many of the contenders. I feel like you can move up the list really quick uh, because they're looking for fresh contenders. So are you thinking about that already, like what a win might, might do for you and where you might be in the championship pecking order? Yeah, I mean, always, I mean, with every win, I, I, after every win, I'm always like, give me a title shot, no matter who it's against, you know what I mean? Because in my mind, I know where I am in my mind. I know on my best night I can beat anybody in the UFC so you know I just gotta after this fight I'm gonna sit down with my coaches and people I care about and uh, we're gonna have a long talk about what's next in my career and you know it might not even be 125 so uh, you know because I'm, I'm 24 years old I'm still growing I can feel it and I need I got really got to focus on uh, my well-being physically because you know the cutting weight it's not it's not always the best for your body especially for a growing young man so uh, you know We'll just see where it goes. I guess you'll address that after the fight. Let's talk about Saturday night. When you play this thing out in your head, how do you see it ending? Uh, dude, <laughs> I've been, I can't remember who I was saying this to the other day, but I've played it, I play it out. All, all I do all day long is uh, I train, and then I go on hikes with my, my German Shepherd. So, like, when I'm walking in the woods, I'm just constantly visualizing, constantly visualizing. And I've seen – I've literally seen this fight going my way in so many different ways that I've seen him coming out and swinging at me and me just moving out of the way and him knocking himself out. So, <laughs> it, you know, I'm going to win, period. <laughs>